We're now going to stitch the pocket to the bag. Before we do that, we always want to check to make sure that our machine is threaded correctly. So stitch about an inch or so, needle up, press your foot up, pull off to the left, and check the back and the front. Looks the same. We're ready to go. Now remember, I'm using red thread. I highly recommend that you use white thread on yours so that your um, any time, kind of little error is not going to show. Mine will show, so I have to be super careful and super slow. Now, to get this lined up, what I want to do is line up the edge of my pocket with the inside edge of this silver toe. But I don't want to use stitch number one. I want to scoot over to stitch number two, which will then put my line of stitching about um, a little more than an eighth of an inch from the edge. But that's where we're going to do it. I'm going to start near the top, but not exactly on the top, maybe about a fourth of an inch in from the edge. Line up with this part of the toe right here. Let's see if you can see how I have that. Okay. All right. And remember, you don't want to stitch over pins. Now, I want to make sure that that top gets back stitched because if I don't, then um, it, the pocket as it's being used will start to come off. So I'm going to do a couple of stitches forward, and then I'm going to back stitch all the way to the, to the edge of the pocket and at least one stitch off the top. If it does two, that's okay too. And then I'm going to start going forward. Stop and take your pins out. Remember, I'm going to go really slow, as should you, because I want to make sure that this looks good and my pocket has red thread. I really want it to be nice and straight. Always stop and take out your pins before you get to them. Remember we have to pivot when we get down to the bottom, so we want to make sure we don't overshoot it, but don't stop too soon either. As I get to the bottom here, I want to make sure that this little this little extra fold down here doesn't tuck out so or doesn't you know escape and show. So I am going to keep my finger on that right on the corner as I stitch into the corner. I also know that about a, right about here is where I want to pivot. So I kind of have my eye on that. That's where I'm going to stop and check to make sure that I am about where I need to be. I think I need one more stitch. All right, and I'm going to check, and I'm not far enough. I need probably another stitch. Let's try that. One more stitch. Up, oh, one more, and then we're going to turn. That's close enough. All right, so now we're going to go across the bottom. Remember, keep your hands holding the pocket flat. Everything should be flat. Make sure that none of the rest of your bag is tucked underneath as you go. I'm actually right now st stitching across the stretchier part of the fabric, and so it wants to move a little bit more. I'm keeping my finger out ahead where a pin should be just to keep that flat as I go. And I'm getting ready to come into this other corner and you see that little ear right there that wants to stick out? I'm actually going to make sure that that is tucked under before I do that corner. I want to make sure it's square but I also don't want that little thing sticking out. So again, I'm doing that and then holding it with my finger to keep it in the right spot. And it doesn't hurt to stop and check rather than overshooting. Yeah, I think I need two more stitches. I think I'm going to try and see. Nope, one more. I don't want a curve or kind of a funny angle at the bottom. I want it to be a nice square corner. So here we go. Now we're going up the last side, the third side.
always stop and take out your pins. And when we stitch to the top, we're going to stitch all the way up so that there's at least one stitch off the top. And then we're going to back stitch about four stitches. So all the way to the top. I want to slow down because I don't want to do too many above the top of the pocket. One more. Uh, one more. There we go. Now I'm going to back stitch two, three, four, and then I'm going to needle up, press your foot up, and make sure I cut my threads. Don't forget to cut the bottom ones as well as the top ones and cut them kind of close because we that helps make our project look better when we don't have stray threads anywhere. So let's take a look at the pocket and it's about a fourth of an inch, not quite a fourth of an inch, all the way around the edge. Nice square corners. I didn't turn quite soon enough on this edge right, or you know, I probably should have put at least one more stitch there and I didn't. But that's not horrible. I'm not going to stop and take it out. It's close enough. And then at the top, I stitched at least one stitch off the top and back stitched. And now this pocket needs to have a good press. I'm going to take all the pins out before I do that. So I'm going to press it and then I'm ready to do, to pin the bottom seam.